Coming up on this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly, Rockville Smoking Ban. What you need to know, we'll break it down. And the city has some big plans for the historic King Farm Farmstead. Plus, some local teens come to City Hall to learn about sustainable energy. More news, more often, right now. This is Rock 11 Now Weekly, so let's get into it. Rockville prides itself on being a healthy city, and smoke-free air is a big part of that. While smoking inside restaurants has been banned for many years, Rockville has also prohibited smoking and vaping in outdoor seating areas. That means owners, managers, and even employees of restaurants and bars cannot knowingly allow smoking or vaping on patios, decks, porches, or other outdoor serving areas. If you smoke in these areas, you can be asked to leave or refuse service. The Rockville City Police Department will be enforcing the ban and specific fines have been set for violators. Smoking in these areas will cost you a $50 fine. The establishment could be fined $100 for permitting smoking or vaping and not posting signs in these areas. Fines for subsequent violations are doubled. To report a violation, call the Rockville City Police non-emergency line at 240-314-8900 and to learn more about the ban go to rockvillemd.gov slash smoking vaping ban. Located in the northeast corner of the King Farm neighborhood the seven acre King Farm farmstead was dedicated to the city for use as a public park. Thanks to a state bond bill the first phase of renovations have begun. The city has owned it for about 17 years now and um, because we haven't known what we want to do with it, how we want to program it, um, there are some restrictions on what we can do, but it's really time to at least stabilize it and make it so that it's safe and um, then the mayor and council can decide what they want to use it for. It's going to be uh, a, a thorough renovation and rehabilitation um, and and it's really important to note that we are going to try to re to use whatever exists there now and to fix it up we're not trying to replace everything so we're trying to do a a, a, a renovation that is um, in honor of the history of the buildings and what they stood for and how they were built for more information about the king farm farmstead head to rockvillemd.gov slash kingfarmfarmstead. Attention Rockville students, get a head start on the new school year and come to the annual Back to School Jam Friday, August 25th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at the Lincoln Park Community Center. For just $2, each Rockville student will receive a backpack filled with some school supplies and much more. But you must have proof that you live and go to school in the city. There's even a chance to win prizes. For more details, head to rockvillemd.gov slash LPCC or call 240-314-8780. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Hagop Belechian. Still to come on this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly, a summer program for teens in Rockville that educates us all. It's all on the way right after this news you can use about National Night Out. Rockville, the 33rd annual National Night Out is just around the corner. It's a chance for you to help strengthen the community spirit and community policing partnership by having a block party. McGruff the Crime Dog will be making the rounds to some block parties, and so will the Mayor and Council and Rockville City Police. There you go, buddy. So if you want to help take a bite out of crime and have a block party, just contact Corporal Ken Matney of the Rockville City Police Department at 240-314-8922. You can also turn on your outdoor light on August 1st to be part of the tradition of front porch vigils, sending a message to criminals that neighborhoods are fighting back against crime. And check out our National Night Out page on rockvillemd.gov slash NNO. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Craig Buchanan. Welcome back. The dog days of summer are here, and you'd be surprised how much energy you use just to stay cool. As part of Rockville's summer camps program, a group of teens recently got a lesson in responsible energy use and had fun doing it. 
Today we had a partnership with students in Rockwell Community Services Teen Summer Camp Program, Montgomery County Department of Environmental Protection, and Rockville Environmental Management. The first day they learned about different forms of energy, how they use it at home, and ways to be more energy efficient. The second day was learning about energy at the city level, of how we make decisions at the city with green building, energy efficiency standards, programs like tax credits for green building and uh, transportation strategies to uh, use energy in a smarter, more efficient way. And today they also learned through uh, hands-on activities. They got to use kilowatt meters to measure appliances and see what, the, what their electronics actually use. They also walked around City Hall and did a mini energy audit where they got to look at all the different offices and see what was plugged in. It might be fans or uh, coffee makers or refrigerators or lighting and different light bulbs and one of the different energy uses throughout the building. They're going to be using their skills to help encourage our employees to save energy and our homeowners to save energy. Rockville 11 wants you to know that you can count on us to find out about all the happenings in Rockville. That's why we're bringing you more news more often. Want to find out how you can save lots of money at Rockville businesses and help local nonprofits? We'll tell you how next week. And there's more information about the next phase of the Stone Street Corridor study. Find out how you can have your voice heard. That's going to do it for this edition. You can also check out the latest happenings on our online newsletter at rockvillereports.com. And join in on the conversation and check out our posts by signing up for Nextdoor at nextdoor.com. And keep up with Rockville 11 by subscribing to our City of Rockville YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Twitter at Rockville 11, on Instagram at Rockville MD, and like us on Facebook. For the entire Rock 11 team, I'm Tony Playa. Until next week, Rockville. <laughs>